Well, here is to another important story of the day. Former Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia's custody uh, in the Enforcement Directorate has been extended by another five days till the 22nd of March. The agency has sought a week more time to investigate the allegations against him linked to the Delhi liquor policy case. Manish Sisodia has been in jail since uh, 26th of February. He was first arrested by the CBI over alleged corruption linked to the new liquor policy. ED filed a case against him and has been investigating the money laundering allegation linked to the case. Mr. Sisodia and the Delhi government have been accused of giving illegal benefits to liquor licensees after launching a new policy in November 2021. The Aam Aadmi Party has refuted the allegations, calling it a witch hunt ahead of 2024 elections. We have accessed the Enforcement Directorate remand note, which states the following. First, the large-scale destruction of digital evidence was intentionally made to destroy evidence of his involvement in money laundering by destroying evidence of handling of the proceeds of crime, something that the ED has been go uh, saying from the very beginning. The ED further claims that Mr. Sisodia revealed that he was using a mobile phone since long, which was changed on the same date when the LG sent a complaint to CBI in the liquor scam case. The ED alleged that the purpose of using SIM card and handset registered on the name of another person is to deny the WhatsApp or the data which is connected with the SIM and stored in the phone. This reflects a well-thought-out plan to destroy evidence. That's what the ED says. Now, the agency has further cited Sisodia's former secretary revealing that he called him to Arvind Kejriwal's residence and handed him a document containing the draft GOM report, a very confidential report. This document allegedly contained 12% profit margin for the wholesale for the very first time. The ED further alleges that the changes in the draft GOM report were made when members of the South Group were in Delhi. Now, here is what Mr. Sisodia said in court today. He said that ED questioned him only for about 30 minutes, one hour every day and that his computer was seized and investigated earlier by one agency. So there is no ground to keep him in custody. Now, another agency is trying to repeat the same whole process. Mr. Sisodia asked if remand is being sought after seven months of investigation, then what they have done in the first place. Meanwhile, a war of words has broken out between the Aam Aadmi Party and the BJP. Let's listen to some voices. Ye pura mamla. दिल्ली की सरकार को बदनाम करने के लिए दिल्ली के शिक्षा मॉडल को डिरेल करने के लिए दिल्ली के लोगों ने आम आदमी पार्टी को जिता क्यों दिया सरकार क्यों बनवा दी इसकी सजा देने के लिए मनीष सिसोदिया और सतेन जैन को जेल में रखा गया आपने उस मनीष सिसोदिया के साथ आतंकवादियों जैसा व्यवहार किया ये देश इस बात को भूलेगा नहीं today once again the courts have upheld justice and have denied that those who are bhrashtacharis and kattar beimans they should not be given relief but unfortunately instead of answering specific questions on the sharab botala we see that arvind kejriwal and his company time and again do bhrashtachar then they play the victimhood card and shout atyachar atyachar they from sansad to sadak do durachar and never give report card of their bhrashtachar Today, they must answer specific questions on the Bhrashtachar that has been done in the name of Sharab Ghotala. Today, Arvind Kejriwalji must answer. He is not just the protector of this corruption, but he is the progenitor, the producer of this corruption. Well, joining us on the broadcast, Shazi Almi of the BJP continues to stay with us. Abhishek Sudhir, who is a political analyst, is also with us on the broadcast. Abhishek Ji, first to you. When this entire investigation was started by the Central Bureau of Investigation, one of the key arguments that was made by the Aam Aadmi Party is that there is no substance to this investigation and it's a political vendetta and a witch hunt. Now, if the CBI has been granted custody, Enforcement Directorate continues to investigate the predicate offence, it only goes on to show that prima facie there is credible evidence on record to proceed and to have somebody as high profile as Mr. Manish Sodia in custody. Look, Anusha, we can't mix up the CBI and the ED cases. Uh, I would like to explain to your viewers the difference between the jurisdiction of the CBI and the jurisdiction of the ED. The CBI investigates crimes 
the ED is concerned with investigating the proceeds of such crimes. They're concerned with money laundering. Now, let's say tax evasion is a crime. Abhishek ji, tax. Abhishek ji, no, I mean, one second, one second, one second. No, Anushka, I, I, I appreciate, no, me, I appreciate, I appreciate you explaining. I only want to say is that ED cannot investigate a crime unless CBI or Delhi police has registered a case. So the investigation in both the things are very much related. You're right yeah, that the job yeah. of the Enforcement Directorate is to find the proceeds of the crime and no money has been recovered so far. But to say both investigations are completely different from each other, I'm not sure how valid that argument is. But please go Let ahead, me, Can I make my argument, Anusha? You just cut me off 10 seconds into No, no, sir. Argument. Please go ahead. I... Please go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just saying that the jurisdiction is different. Hmm. First, the CBI is investigating the crime. They are saying that kickbacks were given, right? It's a criminal breach of trust. It's corruption under the Prevention of Corruption Act, all those crimes. Then there's proceeds of crimes. Now, the ED in their remand application has absolutely made no reference to the proceeds of crimes, right? Money laundering has three ingredients, concealment, possession, and use hmm. of the proceeds of crime. They have not made any reference to this in the remand application. They have simply regurgitated, recited verbatim the CBI's remand application. So mm. this leads to the inference and the conclusion, the inescapable conclusion that the ED case has simply been filed to ensure Manish Sisodia, in case he gets bail in the CBI case, he's denied bail in the ED case. Mm. The same emails, the same questioning. They're saying we're going to confront him with 1.35 lakh emails. Mm. The CBI has confronted him with those 1.35 lakh emails since August. Mm. The ED has not summoned him. One day before the CBI hears the bail application mm. last week, they arrest him in the ED case. Mm. There are no proceeds of crime. Mm. There is no money trail. Mm. BJP spokespersons just pull, you know, numbers out of their hat and say 100 crores. So, close, Abhishek ji, help me close. understand. What so, is there the is basis, no money trail. What is the basis on which the courts are granting custody then? The court is should not be granting custody. That's what I'm trying to say. The PMLA is lopsided. It's in favor of the enforcement directorate. The PMLA simply says if the judge feels that the accused is guilty, he can deny bail. Now, this is like the UAPA. You perennially keep denying bail. This is the strategy they adopted against Lalu Prasad Yadav. He gets bail in one case, file another case. He gets convicted in one case. Ensure there's consecutive sentencing. Make sure your political wow. opponents are in jail forever. A, Make sure your political comment. opponents are in jail forever. Abhishek ji, you've made your Shazia. argument. Shazia ji, Shazia, is, you is, have is, never is won the, I heard, I heard Don't, No, no, no. no. Abhishek, Sudhir or anybody on this panel, I am, I am done with these personal attacks on each other. Shazia Ilmi is a respected spokesperson. One second, Shazia. Shazia ji, one second. No, no, Shazia Ilmi is a respected spokesperson of a national party. I am not going to allow anyone to insult Abhishek Sudhir on this panel or Shazia Ilmi. Shazia ji, please make your point. But when is the, insult, I, no, 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 not at all. I'm just making a point and he shouldn't have said what he said about you. I'm making, a, you're making it a point here. What did the, I say? You said that she never won an election. I don't think that's pertinent to the debate, is it? Uh, no, because yes. they can't win elections, so they arrest their political opponents. Then don't make a that's personal a attack here, sir. Don't make a personal that's attack not here. That's a not personal not attack. It is a personal Only attack. That's... You won. It's not a personal attack. Okay. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. So, see, Shazia, so is, 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 is the so process, no is the process being used as a punishment? So, so yes. no. on the election point, because you, you made that point, uh, so by the same logic, nobody should listen to anything uh, analysts like you say because you've never won an election or are even capable of, and I'm not talking about you, by the same logic, uh, all the parties who actually win elections, such as Lalu Prasad Yadavs or Akhilesh Yadavs or Malayam Singh Yadav, which is the same hmm. party, and uh, Ahmadi party, because they won elections, they're allowed to be corrupt. So that is a very illogical argument. Hmm. So because... Yes, and yes, you, 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 is you, not so no. you back One at a time, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. Shazia, 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 Shazia ji will make his point and then I'll come to Abhishek Sudhir ji. Shazia ji. Calm down, my friend, calm down, relax. So your your logic and all the wonderful yeah, yeah, inferences you were trying to make and the deductions you wanted to uh, make after your uh, the the great gyan you gave. Okay, I'm nobody going to bring to both of you back to the back so to the debate. Shazia ji, there are no proceeds of the crime. Of the crime there are lacks of email that Mr. CBI. Sisodia was but confronted with when he was in CBI it, custody. You here are just an apologist for Lalu Prasad Yadav. And for Kejriwal, the fact of the matter is that EDA is, is, is working and investigating. There's a PMLA case here, a laundry case, the money laundering case that has been made. There are serious charges and the remand note also says about the money trail. Hmm. Obviously, there is a money trail, which is why K. Kavita's aides have been arrested. Hmm. I'm sure you know a little hmm. something about that also. Can I, can I respond? So, you know, uh, Abhishek, 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 Abhishek
and when we try to be too clever by half well at we least forget i have the, academic the knowledge so i really don't see what your problem is with me i think the worst thing that we can do with knowledge is speak over each other shazi alme ji finish your point 30 seconds and i'll go to abhishek so the point so the point i'm i'm point i'm making is that all the clever arguments of the conviction rate of ed pmla act uh, and proceeds of the crime uh, uh, you know um, can only be uh, taken up by ed and cbi can only look at crime none of these matter eventually the, uh, the fact is if you are corrupt and which lalu prasad yadav has been found once and we all know about that and if there is 150 crore and 600 worth of benami properties अपोजिशनप्ट Hmm. that just because they can just say oh because we are in the opposition we can loot hmm. and plunder hmm. and no opposition uh, and nobody can have an investigation against valid charges abhishek so sudhir i i want to abhishek sudhir yes you can respond abhishek, abhishek ji abhishek, abhishek ji abhishek ji yeah. there are Let there are two points no so you you respond there's one question please listen to my question uh one is the case of mr satendra jain who has failed to secure a bail and he's booked under the pmla similar was mm. the case of another opposition leader mr sanjay raut he got the bail mm. from the court because the court mm -hmm. was of the belief that prima facie there is not enough to keep him in further custody and he must be granted his rights there must okay. be something that the courts are looking at when they are giving or denying custody giving or denying bails to doubt the wisdom of the courts completely and to say they are hand in gloves with the present government i don't think is a fair argument is it well mr satyendra jain has been in jail now for one year can't you start the trial you filed the charge sheet why isn't the trial starting why why is the process the punishment let's look at the latest case of corruption from karnataka classic case of both corruption and money laundering virupaksha pa the bjp mla caught with wads and wads of cash literally the proceeds of crime sitting right there in front of his son classic case of money laundering anusha he gets anticipatory bail gets a grand welcome you don't talk about virupaksha pa you only talk about satyendra jain don't, don't say you don't talk about virupaksha pa we spoke about it and in fact the karnataka lokayukta appealed against that bail that was granted to him so have your facts right also sir i have what he has to say Please ask Shazia. Why was he given anticipated? Shazia did not give him anticipated bail. Why, why would I ask that question to Shazia? I mean, that's a misplaced argument. The courts have given him uh, anticipated bail. The question that I can, the, the, the question that I can ask Shazia is that why is ED not investigating the matter? So those why is he not resigned? Why is the, he not resigned? Those theatrics don't ticket? suit the national television and the decorum of any at least, debate. At least Manish Tisodia resigned. Okay. At least Manish Tisodia resigned. At least Manish Tisodia resigned. He had the moral courage to resign. Okay. okay. Will Virupak Sapa resign? 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 Will Virupak which uh, uh, which I, i i busted totally he came up with the second one is virupaksha going, going to resign why is the ed not investigating him third one but he's not shazia ji the question shazia ji the question is simple no, why has okay. ed not gone after virupaksha no no i no 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 i will i will talk about you sir abhishek uh, abhishek changed three points of defense and instead of discussing manish sisodia oh, and the matter God. and lalu prasad yadav which he tried to give how he changed the topic As for Perhaps some academic knowledge would help. MLA, yeah. MLC, some knowledge would help. Fact of the matter, yeah. I don't think. I don't think the personal pot the shots are going to help the debate. I am. I am completely yeah. short of time. Shazia ji, thank you so much for your time. Abhishek uh, Sudhir, thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast, and thank you for your time. We're slipping into a very short break. Coming up after the break from Imran, arrest suspense to an economic meltdown is Pakistan staring at a civil war.